Hi guys, um, it's about quarter to 11 in the morning. Um, it's been a busy morning for me. I had to get some, I had to take my library books back either today or tomorrow to what is the library. Um, so I thought, right, I'll do it today. I'll do it today, get it over and done with today. So I've been to the library in Rochester, the Rochester Community Hub, and I've taken my library books back. Right, there's been no anger, no stupid behaviour, just me being my normal self, which is quiet. <laughs> so I walked into the library and I have took my books back, no problem, they're not overdue, so there was no fines. And uh, I um, chose some more, because I'm into psychotherapy, cognitive behaviour therapy, the way humans behave and all that sort of, sort of thing. So I managed to get a couple of books out on psychology and a book I keep getting out because I like reading it. It helps me. Um, it helps me. So I got the library books out. That was okay. There was a lot of coughing in that library. It was hard to concentrate and I'm not being funny. It was like... All I wanted to do was choose some library books so it was just a mass of coughing male and females coughing and it was irritating me it was irritating me but I managed to actually find the books I wanted after a lot of perseverance and just standing there amidst a barrel of coughing a barrage of it <coughs> 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 Loads of it, men and women coughing, so we um, managed to choose our library books. So I came out of the library and all you can smell in Rochester, it just smells like incense, really strong incense is a Tesco delivery lorry over there. I haven't gone that way this morning. <laughs> so, uh, all you can smell in Rochester High Street is strong incense mixed with weed and cigarette smoke and you cannot breathe for it. <coughs> so I didn't stay out very long, needless to say. So I went into the news agents right at the bottom of uh, Rochester High Street and I got my electric and gas, some bread and some food for the cats. And then I nipped into the Wisdom Hospice, or Hospices of Hope. Hospices of Hope it's called. I went into there. There was one woman serving on her own. I folded all my stuff, I put it in my bag. The bag became its terribly heavy and I thought right I can't walk up, up and down the high street with this bag in my hand because it was cutting into my fingers library books are heavy so I went home and I had to walk Max anyway so I've come out again to walk Max I've also first thing this morning I went into the co-op so about five to nine, I went into the Rochester Riverside Co-op, which I'll show you what I got in the co-op. I'll show you my Hospices of Hope stuff and my library books. But the weather is miserable. It's very, very dark and it's not weather that I particularly like, so I didn't want to hang about anyway. I chose to go out first thing in the morning, that was my choice and I'm glad I did that because now I don't have to go out when it's busy at lunchtime. So I went into the co-op to get cat litter which is £7.50 just for cats and cat litter. 
so I spent about 28 pounds in the co-op this morning just getting essential items cat litter seven pound fifty isn't it so I've got my cat litter I've got some brown bread I've got some grapes which isn't sweets is it grapes I have got sausages and mash for dinner and microwave whip meal but I do have tuna and, and meat as well so I'm snacking on grapes instead of sweets I took a vitamin supplement yesterday because when you're sick you lose you can lose a lot of vitamins so I've taken a vitamin C tablet with calcium <laughs> I don't like this weather it's low visibility it's miserable and there's no sunshine so people that suffer from SAD seasonal affectional disorder this weather can make them feel awful as it does myself I don't like it it's very dark And the sun isn't out at all. There's no, there's hardly any light. It's the sky is full of clouds. So I went into the co-op this morning, and I should be cheery, right? I should feel okay, but I absolutely don't for some reason. It must be the weather. I've got my innocent smooth orange juice to drink for breakfast this morning and I'm trying to eat healthily and do a bit of exercise as well whether it means walking the dog doing a few exercises at home uh, my foot still hurts my foot so we're gonna have to get see if I can get some more support for, for my heel and ankle really so I've been out twice I've put my electric and gas on but I bet it's going to need topping up again at some point um, I haven't collected my prescription from Boots because I'm going to try and get that Thursday delivered to me Oh, I could smell the fresh air. It's a bit different from Rochester High Street. That, my God, I couldn't breathe. I come out of the library and I was gasping for breath walking down that high street. So I've got a couple of little bits in the hospices of hope. And I've got an Avon necklace. Uh, Avon. Remember that advert, Avon calling. Ding dong. Avon calling. So I've got a necklace there. So I'm, I should be feeling great. I should be feeling fantastic. But I don't. <laughs> Tell you what, that library was quiet first in the first thing in the morning. There was two blokes in there. There was two guys in there, and I was able to get my books after I closed my ears to the coffin. Do you know what I mean? I closed my ears to the coffin. <laughs> I'm 
pleased to say that my TikTok is growing. Thank you to my followers and the people that like my videos. The TikTok's doing well. And my YouTube as well. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I just, I just, I got up this morning, I got up at half past seven and I thought, right, let's do things today. I might not feel well tomorrow, so let's get rid of those bloody library books that I've had for about four months. Because <laughs> I keep renewing them because I can't be bothered to take them back. So I thought, yeah, let's get those done today. So that's something I've done. Because <laughs> what I suffer from is with is I don't know whether I'm going to be ill one day to the next so when I feel okay, okay it's like I got a migraine yesterday right so I thought I'm going to do it now I'm going to do it today and that's what I did otherwise you end up getting a 60 70 pound library fine I've had those in the past, believe you me. <laughs> it's easy to forget, especially when things happen out of your control. <laughs> I think I'll have to lay off uh, that. I'm supposed to put earphones on when I sing. That could be giving me a headache. I don't put earphones on when I sing. Probably make myself deaf. <laughs> AA van going down the road. I've no use of an AA van because I don't drive a car. <laughs> I don't drive, I don't drive a car and I never have. <laughs> See, if people leave me alone, I've got no interfere, have I? If you leave me alone, when people start interfering and upsetting you but if you're left alone that's brilliant <laughs> Max back and then I'll show people what I got from them. I think it's the Hospice of Hope. I haven't been in there for ages.
tell you what, I, I smelt so much incense down Rochester High Street. I couldn't see when I was coming home. I couldn't see. <sighs> it stinks, doesn't it? Strong incense. Right guys, have a banging day, see you later.